Garden grown herbs can transform your cooking. They're easy to look after and contribute bags of flavour. Hardy evergreen types such as this sage here will in many areas continue to produce leaves throughout the winter, making them a must for any cook. If you'd like to grow more herbs, then you're going to love this video because we're going to show you how to choose, arrange and plant up a beautiful herb container. Many herbs make excellent container plants. Growing them like this means the potting soil can be tailored to suit each type of herb. Pots are easy to move around the garden, creating attractive edible displays, or group them close to the house for easy access. Containers can be as conventional or quirky as you dare. Sun-loving herbs originally from the Mediterranean look the part in terracotta pots and urns. Galvanised tubs lend themselves to an eruption of luxurious foliage, while wicker frame planters add a rustic touch. Have a separate pot for each type of herb, or group them together in a large planter. Most herbs will grow in containers. Mint is especially suited to its own pot because of its vigorous habit and tendency to spread and overwhelm neighbouring plants. Remember to match herbs that like the same growing conditions. For instance, drought tolerant herbs such as rosemary, lavender and thyme prefer full sun and well drained potting soil, while chives and parsley make good companions in a shadier spot. Let's go ahead and put together a tub of delicious aromatic herbs. This terracotta container is perfect for a collection of sun-loving herbs, including rosemary, sage, a curry plant, two types of thyme, and this golden oregano. The container already has a drainage hole. If yours doesn't, you'll need to drill some holes into the base to allow excess water to drain out. Start by placing some broken pieces of pot over the drainage hole to prevent the potting soil from washing out. The evergreen herbs we've chosen need a very free-draining potting soil because their roots hate sitting in wet. To achieve this, mix soil-based potting soil with a few generous handfuls of grit, adding and mixing together in stages as you fill the container. Before you plant your herbs, take the time to arrange them on top of the potting soil. Consider each plant's growing habit. Set creeping or trailing herbs to the front and taller herbs to the back or into the middle, with bushier plants in between. Once you're happy with the arrangement, remove the herbs from their pot, place them back in position, then fill in around the root balls with more of the potting soil and grit mix, firming it in as you fill. Now thoroughly water the herbs to settle them into position, adding more potting soil if necessary. Leave the planted tub as it is, or finish the display off with a mulch of gravel, pebbles or shells. It's really important that these herbs enjoy good drainage, so I'm raising the container off the ground by placing it onto a plant stand. You could also use pot feet or simply large pebbles. Herbs are pretty low maintenance, but a few simple tips will keep them in the best condition and provide you with plenty of pickings. First, water according to the needs of each herb. More for fleshy leaved herbs like parsley and basil, and less often for more aromatic herbs with smaller leaves such as rosemary. During the growing season, water your herbs with an organic liquid fertiliser every few weeks. If winters are harsh where you live, protect the pots from severe cold by wrapping them up in bubble wrap, hessian or burlap, stuffed with scrunched up newspaper or straw. This will help prevent the roots from freezing solid. You could also move containers under cover, for example into a greenhouse. Above all, remember to pick and enjoy your herbs regularly. Herbs actually benefit from regular picking and will produce lots more shoots in response. It's a win-win situation. Having fresh herbs to hand like this is just brilliant and they look so fantastic too. Please do share your tips for growing herbs below. Perhaps you have a favourite combination or a particular variety that you'd recommend. If so, let us know about it. And if you'd like more gardening ideas, don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you next time.